Surgical Theater is an advanced visualization platform that uses patient-specific imaging to create comprehensive 3D, 360 models. So in patient education, our platform is providing a way for surgeons and patients to connect at a level in between the two. It provides a model that's based on the data the surgeons are used to seeing in a way that the patients can interact with. In the planning realm, it's allowing the surgeons to prepare better, to rehearse, and to have better outcomes from surgeries. And in the operating room, we're providing a way for the surgeons to maintain their focus on the surgical field without having to look away to get information from their other navigation sources or other informatics. In MindVR, we're, our mission is pretty simple. We're out to improve the lives and the health of our elders across the world using XR technology. And we think about this from a holistic point of view. So when we think about physical health, mental health, uh, social health, XR has a wonderful, promising future in terms of helping uh, the health and wellness of these older adults. I think if you look at the aging population in general around the world, certainly in the U.S., we're going to have more people older than 65 than people that are younger than 18 years old in 10 years from now. So that's going to create a tremendous amount of strain on our healthcare resources uh, as these folks get older and, and folks live longer. So our thesis at MindVR is to provide XR therapeutics uh, that can help in that aging process, make that aging process fun, exciting, engaging, but also add uh, a lot of tools into the continuum of care. When we think about physical therapy or occupational therapy, speech and language therapy, this technology is really well positioned to help in those therapies. At MindVR, we're very interested in how XR technology can improve chronic pain, how it can reduce anxiety, how it can help with dementia. We have dementia care settings all over the country where we provide MindVR, and it provides a, a relief to some of the side effects that come with dementia. And when you can start to think about non-pharma solutions as interventions into these different conditions, that's when it gets really exciting. Lexonic Technologies creates immersive solutions for healthcare and medicine. We empower the healthcare industry with improved access to education, clinical hands-on training and assessment, and virtual care delivery. Yeah. So our solution, Sievert, which is a digital twin of the radiology reading room, is improving access to workflow for clinicians. The demand for medical imaging is far outstripping the supply. That means that there are constant backlogs of medical images that need to be read and reported by radiologists. These images are very important to disease diagnosis, treatment, and more. By improving access to workflow for radiologists, radiologists have the freedom to be able to work from anywhere and interpret and diagnose images from anywhere. That means that patients can get faster turnaround times for their cases, radiologists have better work-life balance, and overall the system becomes a little bit more sustainable. So we are developing XR therapeutic applications for a variety of use cases, from pain management, PTSD, stress management, and what we believe the gap in the industry today is the platform level. So there are a lot of different content out there, but when a hospital or a clinic need to actually integrate those types of XR solutions, you need a platform to enable them to scale. And that's what we are trying to build. That layer of platform, different types of content, where patient will be able to access that content and clinician will be able to access that content. We created Wide Awake VR with the initial purpose of displacing general anesthesia in minor surgeries. So we started off doing hand surgery and uh, offering people the opportunity to, instead of going under, they could stay wide awake. The benefits are just enormous. I mean, first of all, a patient does not have to fast. They can drink a cup of coffee and eat a breakfast sandwich on the way into surgery if they wanted to. In our situation, once the operation is over, they get up, get in their car and drive home. And if you're in the immersive, entertaining, fun to watch, a uh, piece of VR. It's a very strong distraction. Most recently, we have a surgeon and he did an actual and is doing on a regular basis now, uh, spinal fusion, wide awake.